and now we're recording. So playlist today is Common Ground, Grounded 10, hitting play in five, four, three, two, one. And then today to start our practice, we're gonna do a little bit of quadrant breathing, also known as square breath or four count breath. So if you want, you could take this seated, you could lie down, you could be in child's pose. Closing your eyes, draw your shoulders up towards your ears. And exhale, relax your shoulders down. Two more times, breathe in, draw your shoulders up, give them a squeeze. And then exhale, soften them down. One more time, breathe in. And exhale, drop it into your body. For a four count breath, what it'll look like would be inhale for four, pause and hold for four, exhale for four, pause and hold. I'm repeating this, you can think of it like a square. So when you're ready, we'll start. Inhale for four, three, two, one, pause and hold. Exhale, four, three, two, one, pause and hold. Inhale, four, three, two, one, pause and hold for four, three, two, one, exhale, four, three, two, one, pause. Inhale, pause, exhale, pause, inhale, pause, exhale. Pause. Inhale. Pause. Exhale. Pause. Breathing in. A few more times on your own, adjusting your breath however you need. One more cycle. And then letting go of your four count breath. If you are lying down, making your way to seated, bring your hands onto your shoulders so your fingertips are resting on them your elbows are drawn up but then relaxing your lats down your back use your inhale twist over to the right and then exhale over to the left inhale right exhale left so keep flowing with your breath here Finding some movement through the thoracic spine, the middle of our body. And I encourage you to keep your eyes open and see if you can turn your gaze as well so you can get your neck into the movement. Two more times each direction. Last one. And then come back to neutral. 
and then make your way into your shell shape or child's pose. So we found a little bit of movement going side to side. So pausing in stillness here. And maybe see if you could deepen your breath just a little bit. Take a big breath in through your nose. And then exhale out your mouth. <sighs> Keep your legs where they are. Bring your hands a little bit more forward towards the top of your mat so your elbows are off the ground. And then start to add that cat cow movement while in child's pose. So inhale, allow your chest to drop, gaze goes up. And as you exhale, curl and round. Really isolating the movement here. And you can use your hands to kind of traction on the ground, almost like you're pushing your palms away. A couple more times. And then snake your left elbow to the inside of your left leg. I'll turn it sideways so you can see. So elbow's gonna be bent to the inside. Take your right hand, place it behind your head. Inhale, reach your right elbow up high. It's not gonna go very high. And as you exhale, curl and round, drawing your elbow to elbow. Inhale. And exhale. And then come back to neutral, switch sides. Left hand behind your head, right elbows down to the inside of your right leg. Inhale, left arm reaches up. And then exhale, curl and round. I don't know about you, but there is a massive difference between one side and the other. And that's okay, it could be one side you're dominant on. It could be different injuries. And then come back to neutral. Bring yourself on up into tabletop. And instead of cat cow, I want you to find cat neutral. So what it looks like is your exhale, you curl around, chin in towards your chest. And as you inhale, come back to neutral. Exhale, curl and round, push your palms into the ground. Inhale, neutral. I want you to think about finding length through the crown of your head and your tailbone, just like what you do in your halfway lift. So when you curl around, start to find that engagement through your lower abs. And as you inhale, you find length. A few more times. And then come to neutral. Bring your right knee a little more in towards the center of your mat. And then wrap your left leg around so you're cross-legged here. Reach your hands a little bit more forward, then start to find your cat-cow movement. And find the full expression today. And then come back to neutral, tuck all your toes, push back into a cross-legged down dog. I'm just gonna take off my sweater here. Maybe you can pedal out your heels, maybe you can't. You're obviously gonna have limited range of motion being cross-legged. You can sway your hips a little bit side to side. Ooh. And then play around with walking your right foot in front of your left and then switching sides, kind of like you're walking on the spot. Your shoulders are gonna start to creep forward towards your hands, so keep pushing your chest back. One more time, ending up with that left foot in front of the right, just like where we started. And then walk your feet in ever so slightly. Bring your left hand a little bit more, uh, sorry, right hand a little more in towards the center of your mat. 
And then your left hand reaches for the outside of your left leg. Ooh. And again, try and push your chest back towards your thighs. Bring that left hand back down, lower your knees. And then switch sides, right leg's gonna go down in front of the left. Would have to adjust your knees further back. Cat cow here with cross legs. One more coming into your cow. And as you curl around, tuck your toes, push back into your cross leg down dog. Maybe sway your hips side to side. And then again, when you're ready, walking on the spot, crossing right leg over, left leg over right, right over left. And then ending up with that right foot crossing in front of the left, shorten your stance. Uh, this time your opposite hand reaches cross. I think I messed that up last time. Go with what feels natural here. Turn this into a little bit of a twist. I did totally mess it up last time. Oh well, that's okay. Walk your feet back ever so slightly, lower your knees down. Uncross your legs, knees go wide apart. Shift your hips back. Reach your hands a little bit more forward, elbows off the ground. Three cycles, cat, cow, in your child's pose legs. And the next time, settling down into your shell stretch, child's pose. Allow your stomach to be heavy, your hips be heavy. When you're ready, bring yourself back on up to tabletop, gather your knees underneath you. Step your right foot to your right hand, making your way into your low lunge. Arms reach up. And you can play around with the position of your hips, noticing what feels right for you today. It's midweek, so I don't know about you, but my low back has been bothering me. So finding like a deep back bend isn't the best. So I'm gonna come back a bit. Choose something that's gonna work for you. When you're ready, use your exhale. Left arm comes forward, right arm goes back. Gaze goes back towards your right fingertips. Inhale, sweep your arms back up. And as you exhale, shift your heels back, bring your hands onto your low back into a gentle half split, generous bend in your right leg. Yeah, we haven't fully warmed up our hamstrings yet. Bring yourself back on up. Right hand goes to the inside of your right leg, left arm reaches up, awkward twist. Come back up through center low lunge. And then same thing, exhale, finding this twist, opening your chest towards the right. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, shift your hips back, half splits. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, awkward twist. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, twist. Shift your hips back, half splits. Bend back into your front knee, right hand inside right leg, awkward twist. And then bring that left hand down. Heel toe your right foot a little more over towards the right into your low lunge. You can butterfly that knee, open and close. Back into your hips here.
And then from here, if you want, if you have props, you could come onto your props or lower down onto your forearms, into your lizard. Know that you can always stay upright if you want to turn this more into a quad stretch. Just even lifting your left foot will give you that stretch. Otherwise, there's the option to reach around back. And see if you can deepen your presence over deepening your practice. Lower your left foot down. If you're using a prop, moving it out of the way. And then come down onto your forearms. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee and step your right foot back to meet the left. So you're in a low forearm plank. And right away, shift your hips up, coming into dolphin pose. Walk your feet in just a bit. Yeah, this will really wake up the backs of your legs. And try and push your heart towards your legs. Walk your feet out. Bring yourself back forward to your forearm plank. Hold for eight, for seven. For six, for five, for four, for three, two, for one. Lower your knees, untuck your toes, bring your feet wider apart. And plant your palms underneath your shoulders. Roll your shoulders back and down, find your heart opener. Lower your chest, tuck your toes, push back into your child's pose. And before you settle in, three cycles of cat cow here through your upper spine. Next time you curl and round, resting your forehead down. Maybe letting gravity do some more of the work here as you settle in. <sighs> know that there's nowhere else that you need to be. There's nothing you need to be doing. I'm constantly worrying about the future or things that haven't happened yet, or conversations that haven't taken place. The thief of joy. Try and deepen your presence here, noticing your breath. Reach your hands a little bit more forward, come back on up to tabletop, gather your knees, step your left foot to your left hand. Arms reach up, low lunge. Finding that same flow as we did on the other side, using your exhale, right arm forward, left arm back, look back to your left fingertips. Inhale, sweep that left arm up, low lunge. Exhale, shift your hips back, be gentle here. This is your first half splits on the left side. Let's stay here for a couple of breaths. Whew. Inhale, arm reach up. Exhale, awkward twist, left arm down to the inside of your left leg, right arm reaches up. Inhale, arms reach up, low lunge. Exhale, left arm back, right arm forward. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, half splits. Inhale, come back up, low lunge. Exhale, awkward twist. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Right fingertips down to the ground, heel toe your left foot over towards the left making your way into your lizard. Again, option to come up onto a block, book, pillow, whatever you have handy. Oh, 
butterfly net left knee opening closed. And maybe you want to bend your right knee. Ooh. Drawing that right heel closer towards your bum. <sighs> Releasing that foot back down. If you're using a prop, moving it out of the way. Lowering yourself down onto your forearms. <laughs> Step your left foot back to the right, low plank. Try and see if you can bring your hips in line with your shoulders. So notice if your bum's really high or worse, if it's sagging, we don't want to take this into our low back. Stay for six, five, four, three, you can do it. Two, one, shift your bum up high, walk your feet in just a little bit. Push your heart back. And this time, knees go wide, big toes touch, shift back into your child's pose. Walk your hands back towards your knees, gather your knees closer together. Hands on your knees, finding your cat cow here. We're going to overemphasize and pause our breath in a couple of spots. So as you inhale, gaze goes forward, allow your stomach to soften. And as you exhale, curl and round. Stay here for the inhale, breathe into the back line of your body. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, chest comes back forward, lead with your heart. Exhale, curl and round, shifting your tailbone closer towards your heels. Inhale, stay. Exhale, stay. Inhale, chest comes forward. And then exhale back to neutral. Good job. Hands on either side of your hips. And then maybe walk your hands a little bit further back and then out. Start to make circles with your neck. Ooh. And I should specify, make half circles. You don't want to do full circles here. And then come up onto your knees, tuck your toes, step your left foot to the front of your mat. So you're back into your low lunge. Toes are tucked, so we're really finding strength through this right leg. A gentle back bend and opening through the chest. Stay here. You could either walk that uh, left heel in a little bit or further back. And then you're going to reach back towards your heel. So if you know that this is not possible for you today, you could also bring your hand onto your low back. Toes are tucked for stability, and then try to open your chest up towards the ceiling as much or as little as you want. If you experience any pain in your back, back off, but if there's discomfort, maybe see if you can breathe through it first. Then maybe that left arm can reach up and back. With control, bring your left hand back onto your leg. Ooh, chest comes back up, good job. And then sink back into your half splits. Ooh. You might wanna take your right hand and manipulate your left foot up towards the top of your mat a little bit more. Perhaps adding in that cat-cow movement through your upper spine. And then shift your weight a little more into your right arm so you can step that left leg back to meet the right. Coming back on up, same thing, other side. Step your right foot forward. Oof. Adjusting your stance, try and square your chest off to the front. Back toes are tucked. Maybe that left hand goes onto your left heel, maybe it doesn't. Opening your chest up. 
Maybe your right arm reaches up as well. Then maybe see if you can bend a little bit more into your right knee. Remember to breathe. Deep in your presence. Bring yourself back on up. Shift your hips back. Yeah. Right foot more over towards the front. Cat cow. And then hand weight more into your left hand. Step your right knee back. Shift your bum onto your heels. Tuck all 10 toes so you can stretch out through the bottom of your feet. So before we find our hip opener, you have choice here in how you would like to get into it and which hip opener you'd like to find. So if you know that pigeon's in your practice, perfect. You know what you need to do. And maybe you could try this out. Start on the opposite side that you normally do. So often in yoga, we always start on the right side, right side, right side. So maybe try the left. Or maybe vice versa. Maybe you already switch it up. And if you know that, hey, pigeon's not going to be the best for you today, what I'd recommend you do is you find 90-90 with your knees. And then you can fold over that front leg. So when you're ready, making your way into your hip opener, choosing an option that's going to work best for you. Don't be afraid to grab a prop, use a pillow, a rolled up blanket, blocks, whatever you need. And as you make your way into your hip opener, what I want to offer you is a quote that I recently read, which was, the soul does not grow by addition, but by subtraction. The soul does not grow by addition, but by subtraction. So maybe what can you take away this week? What can you say no to? If you're down on your forearms, bringing yourself back up onto your hands. And then up to you for how you'd like to transition. For me, I'm just going to swing one leg around, and the other one back. Gingerly and gently making my way into the shape on the side. Encouraging you to do the same using your props. What can you take away this week? What can you say no to? Bringing yourself back on up. Transitioning however you need. We'll make our way into seated next, but you have time. So shift and adjust however you need. Find those movements of in between. Then once you've made your way to seated, 
stretching out your legs. Shifting your bum a little bit side to side, seeing if you can bring a little bit more of your sitting bones down onto the ground. Soft, then it, actually no, we're gonna start with your knees bent deeply. And you're gonna take your peace finger grips and hook them around your big toes. We haven't done this one in a while. And then start to slowly slide your heels out. So try and keep your chest lifted first. It's almost like your heart is trying to go towards your feet, not your head. And then letting those legs go as straight or as bent as they're going to allow for you today. And then once you make your way here, what tends to happen is your pinky toes are gonna to curl in. So I want you to think about flexing your feet so that your big toes and pinky toes are in line, which will start to straighten out your feet, yeah. Take a break, break breath in, <laughs> lift your heart. And then exhale, fold, bring your elbows down wide. Let everything go, curl and round here. Release your toes, roll yourself back on up. If you need to, scoot your bum a little bit more forward, hands turned, fingertips are turned towards your bum. Find you lift through your chest and then bend into your elbows. Ooh. Bring your chest back on up. Keep your left leg really straight. Draw your right knee in towards you. Cross your ankle over top of your left thigh. And then you have a few options for your twist. You could give yourself a big hug and a squeeze with that left arm, or you could lift it up and then hook your left elbow to the outside of your right leg. Flex your left foot so your toes are pointed up towards the ceiling. Take a big breath in. And then exhale, twist over, looking towards your right shoulder. Slow that breath back down, make it really intentional here. Counter twist, keep your legs where they are. Right arm goes to the inside of your right leg. Ooh, gaze goes over towards the left. Come back to your center. Take the sole of the right foot, place it on your left inner thigh, forward fold. Rise back on up, straighten out your right leg. And again, see if you can bring your big toes to touch, turn your pinky toes out. Hands turn behind you, same thing, opening up through the shoulders. Ooh. Bringing yourself back on up, drawing your left leg in, crossing it over on top. And then finding your variation of the twist. So maybe you wanna find the same thing. Maybe you wanna do something a little different. Right toes are pointed up towards the ceiling, taking a big breath in. And then exhale, twist. Now soften your chin. We're still reaching up through the crown of your head. Using this twist to rinse and let go of what's no longer serving you, what you no longer need. And then using your open twist, 
to welcome whatever is presenting itself to you. Back through center, left sole of your foot, right inner thigh. Reach your arms up, gaze goes up. And then exhale, fold over your right leg. Bring yourself back on up, straighten your legs, point your toes, scoot your bum a little bit more forward, and then slowly roll yourself down. Keep pointing your toes. Slow, 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 really slow. Yeah, open to the front of the body, snaking your way down. Nicely done. Opening your arms out. If there's any other final movement you want to take, please feel free to do so. Otherwise, settling in here into your final resting shape. Softening your body. The soul does not grow by addition, but by subtraction. Releasing the grip of whatever you're holding on to right now. Maybe it's a thought, idea, expectation. So we'll be here for about four minutes. So <sighs> letting your breath be smooth and steady. Know that there's nowhere else you need to be right now. Meetings can wait. Using this time to fill up your own cup.
starting to deepen your breath. Gently bringing in any movement. And today, if you have the time and space, I encourage you to finish your practice lying as you are. You can have your hands outstretched or placing your hands on your body. And closing out by taking one final breath. When you're ready, gentle inhale. And soft exhale. Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. If you have any questions, comments, feedback, please let me know. Otherwise, keep finding pockets of time to move slow. I'll see you all next week.